from Bedrock. So we're here for the back half of the girls series title match as well as the handicap title match. Got a machine to lay over in handicaps. We'll take a look at the girls. As 13-year-old Marissa Marullo was the highest, was the second highest girl today, taking on Alexis Atkin, who's already got her three wins, so she's trying to prevent Marissa from getting the first of the three wins that you need to get into the girls TPC. And we still got ourselves a bit of a match here. Atkin right now leads by 31. I've got a double working in the ninth frame, so she can fill up the ninth and tenth frames. And she will win that game. Marissa already had an excellent day, finishing in third place overall in the tournament. So a uh, great debut from the Casa Grande youngster. Alexis also made the top five today. So uh, fine performances out of both of them. Yeah, that strike's going to lock it up. Alexis is throwing the ball a lot better the last couple of weeks after looking not so good for the month or so before that. So something's clicked back in, and that's uh, scary for the rest of the tour. But she's uh, been around and done this a time or two, and this is the time of year that you want to get hot. Meanwhile, here, Mike Grisham has won three matches in the scratch division and the handicap step ladder. He is getting eight pins against top seed P. Fung. Yes, we're in the Fung house. The deliberate player has looked good in his three matches. That slow ball speed just rides what's left of the shim and gets a huge double there in the seventh and eighth. Uh, like I said, he's getting eight. And with that double, he moves into the lead by 16 scratch. So 24 pin lead with two frames to go. He was shaky down the stretch in match one, but just held on for the lead and he's looked very good ever since. We'll see if he can get that uh, killer instinct and finish off his first career title. Keith, of course, won his first career title back in Kingman in December, emphatically, and was emphatic here today. He threw the two highest games of his JVT career during the day today, 268 and 269 scratch. As Alexis cleans that up in the 10th, she's going to shoot 220 scratch to win the girls title. Biggest shot of Grisham's career is on its way. It's there. Oh yeah, what a nice shot in the ninth too. Where he was shaky earlier, that was brilliant. 10 in the pit, no doubter. And a 10 in the pit, no doubter for Atkin to finish off her fourth Women's Series win of the year. And a sweep on the weekend for the Girls Series for Lexi. Keith has to strike to stay close and wasn't close, unfortunately, on that shot. Almost crept back and got the mixer, but uh, it's looking like it's going to be some disappointment in the phone house. Lexi. Big old. Well, I just mean, okay. Proper spirit. <laughs> Have any hope he's got to spare up this 245. He's got it. He can max out for 189. Yeah, it's over, unfortunately, for Keith. But he was brilliant all day long. But Grisham has been brilliant all step ladder long. That happens sometimes. Just uh, open frames earlier in this title match killed him. He went eight out, eight out in the first and third. Meanwhile, Grisham had one little hiccup in the fifth. It was otherwise clean through there. But for Keith, uh, you know, obviously you want to win every tournament as Jenner, but he's also looking at this from a season-long perspective as he's climbing high up in the points race for invitational buys, for TPC buys, and second place will help out all of the above. And the scholarship account as well, too. Seventy-nine, not bad at all, but not going to be enough this time as Grisham has closed the Fung House for the day. Gravy time for the U of A student. He'll lock up his first career win. 
Only 14 more to catch that guy right there. Happy feeling when he don't even need the pins in the pen. Been a long time coming. He's had a runner-up finish earlier, a couple other top fives. Obviously works hard on his game and uh, celebration at Casa de Grisham. E1, he'll be a 2 O's stretch, more than enough. Off you go, Steven. Yeah. All right, Jamie Chibola is a very good the awards for the top two finishers in this division. First of all, your women's series runner-up also finished third in the main tournament, Marissa Murillo. Great job all weekend, Marissa. And your women's series champion, her fourth girls title of the season, Alexis Atkin. Swept the weekend, too. Great job, Lexi. In the handicap division, your runner-up, give a big hand led today, Keith Fung. Keith, we have some firewood for you there. 